Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna to help you just in case your device keeps disappearing from your iTunes, all right? Um, I'm going to show you the example with, uh, with my good old iPhone here. So first things first, you need to make sure that it's plugged into the computer via USB cable, okay? So I have mine plugged in already like so. Uh, another thing to check is make sure that the connections are actually securely plugged in all the way. Sometimes I leave them not pushed in all the way or sometimes they're not pushed in all the way on the computer's end where the USB connection is. So something to keep in mind. But let's go ahead and hop into iTunes here so I can show you another uh, thing to look out for, okay? so. As you can see in the top right corner over here, this is where my iPhone is located. And it's doing an automatic sync because that's how I have my phone set up. But uh, one thing to keep in mind with older iTunes versions is sometimes, I think some versions actually, once they sync, the, the phone just kind of disappears. And um, that's just how the older versions worked. Not necessarily for this newer version, uh, which is iTunes 11, but Let's go ahead and go back into this. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you press or click on the eject button, it's going to disappear as well, like so. Boom, it's gone, I don't see it. But what's happening there is basically, you're letting the computer know that I want to remove the device, the hardware device from the computer connection. But that's basically it, guys, those three different things to look out for. So if you do have any other questions, please let us know, but thank you for watching.